This is part two of topic nine, somatosensory uh, system. And so what we're seeing here is we're looking at the uh, location of this ascending tracts in the spinal cord. Um, so the dorsal column, medial, and meniscal tract are shown here. Um, these are going to be ipsilateral. Um, for medial to lateral is the fasciculus gracilis and the fasciculus cuneatus. Again, this is containing uh, proprioceptive um, sensory information such as touch, pressure, vibration. Uh, these are going to synapse um, respectively on the uh, nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus. Um, and so uh, what the dorsal column uh, medial meniscal system is going to mediate are um, postural positions. Um, so that's going to be the proprioception, um, uh, kinesthesia, um, as well as some fine discriminative touches, uh, um, as well as vibration. Um, in addition, uh, the receptors, these are the um, mechanical sensor receptors. Uh, that are conveying this information are the Meisner uh, corpuscle and Virginian corpuscle. Um, in addition, um, you're getting information from muscle spindle organs, uh, which are sensitive to vibration, um, kinesthesia, as well as uh, proprioception. Um, the neural pathways that I want you to be familiar with, again, um, are um, these um, Primary axons are going to run in the fasciculus gracilis and the fasciculus cuneatus. These are coming from the uh, these are the first order fibers. Um, they're collecting information from the body and they're projecting to the second order neuron, uh, which is located in the caudal medulla. Um, that is, they're going to again synapse on the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus, and that's going to be an ipsilateral uh, synapse. These are giving rise to the internal arcuate fiber. Um, uh, that is the second order neurons that give rise to the internal arcuate fibers. Um, then they're going to cross over uh, to form the medial lumniscus. And the medial lumniscus then is going to project to the third order neuron, which is the uh, uh, ventral posterior lateral uh, thalamic nucleus, or the VPL in the thalamus. And from there, uh, the VPL is going to project to uh, the primary sensory cortex um, in the parietal lobe. And so this just shows a diagram, just what I talked about in terms of your first order, second order, and third order neuron, uh, as well as uh, the different types of um, the fiber tracks, uh, where they're crossing over, and so forth. Um, again, uh, this just reiterates exactly what I said. Um, uh, looking at uh, from the sacral to a cervical uh, projection, um, again, ascending um, these tracks, ascending in the fasciculus gracilis or cuneatus, uh, synapsing um, onto um, in the caudal medulla. The nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus gives rise to the internal arcuit fibers. They um, go to the contralateral side. Um, in the caudal medulla, uh, they ascend as the medial lumniscus. Uh, they synapse onto uh, the ventral posterior thalamic nucleus, and then from there, they, uh, the ventral posterior thalamic nucleus will project uh, these fibers to specific uh, somatosensory areas within the parietal cortex. Um, leg area is more medial, um, and um, information about face, head, or more lateral. And so, uh, in terms of the cortical um, representation, in terms of with the uh, parietal cortex, uh, there is organization. Um, so your primary sensory cortex, also referred to as uh, BA3, 1, uh, and 2. Um, and so, damage to that area, in terms of uh, clinical importance, is going to be loss of sensation. Um, your associate area um, is areas 5 and 6. Five and seven, excuse me, um, and um, superior and superior and parts of the um, inferior parietal lobule. Uh, clinical correlates in terms of damage to uh, the um, this area five and seven 
uh, will be cognitive impairments and disorders of cross-modality um, integration. And so here, uh, again, um, this is a, uh, pretty helpful in terms of looking at the homunculus, uh, going uh, where your somatosensory uh, topographical organization is located, uh, going for more medial, which is going to be your genitals, toes, foot, legs. Um, as we go further out, um, lateral, um, we see um, face representation, um, gums, jaw, tongue, uh, pharynx, and um, uh, more medial structures. Um, and then most medial is your um, intra-abdominal area, so into the somatosensory representation. Um, in terms of, again, clinical correlates, um, damage, you're going to lose um, loss of fine discrimination, touch, and position sense. Um, this, the types of etiologies that could cause this are um, inflammation, peripheral nerves, um, um, uh, this could be at the dorsal ganglia, uh, I guess disruption, uh, degradation and interruption of the spinal dorsal column um, via um, vascular insufficiencies or um, some tumor uh, that might be developed. And so you would see these deficits on the control. On, if it's occurring within the spinal cord, you're going to see this where? You're going to see it ipsy. If the area um, is involving um, the uh, thalamus or um, mesomatocentric cortex, um, the deficit will be contralateral. Um, your anterior lateral uh, system, uh, this is a system that is going to uh, convey uh, sensations of pain and temperature. And so the tracks are going to be your lateral spinal thalamic tract and your anterior spinal thalamic tract they're going to, uh, their pathways are going to be different um, than those um, conveying um, proprioceptive information. And so here, um, pain from the information comes in, um, and immediately they're going to synapse uh, within the dorsal horn. Um, your projection neuron or your spinal thalamic neuron is going to project to the contralateral side. Um, they're going to ascend um, to the opposite side in the anterior white commissure. Um, and they're going to project um, again to the uh, to the ventral posterior thalamic nucleus. Notice that they are not projecting and synapsing um, into uh, the conal medulla like your proprioceptive information did. Um, and then from the VPL, um, they will ascend um, again um, to um, somatosensory cortex. Uh, within the parietal lobe. Okay, and so just look at a block diagram again. Um, your primary uh, uh, first order neuron is in your dorsal ganglia. Your second order neuron is um, within the uh, ventral horn, specifically within the uh, nucleus uh, stentia gelatinosa or nucleus uh, proprius. Um, uh, uh, these are going to give rise to the spinal thalamic projection neurons. Your third order, third order neuron is um, within the thalamus, a ventral posterior thalamic nucleus. Then that's related to your parietal lobe. And so, um, damage to this um, um, correlates with the limbic involvement with pain perception from the viscera. Um, You'll also see um, uh, modulation of, of pain perception, um, and this could either be somatic or visceral um, in terms of responses to pain, uh, nausea, and so forth. Uh, Patterns of deficit uh, is going to affect your uh, ability to interpret pain, um, and so you'll um, so a pinched nerve, for example, with loss of pain from that compromised area. Um, um, other uh, modalities or dysfunctions uh, will interrupt uh, the crossing of pain information and, and temperature fibers. Um, uh, this just lists uh, the different types of treatments, um, and, and this right here uh, lists in terms of um, assessments. Um, the encephalin is a um, uh, opioid that's used to relieve um, pain trans uh, uh, pain transmission. 
Um, and, and so just follow this right here. Um, if this is not clear, um, send me information and I'll try to clarify it for you. Um, uh, again, uh, your anterior lateral system, the anterior th uh, thalamic tract, this uh, mediates a diffuse touch, uh, lacking a, a qualitative localization description. Uh, these are going to, the nerve endings are doing this, are these encapsulated endings, free nerve endings, um, as well as these expanded tip endings. Um, the first order um, neurons um, are going to synapse onto, again, an adenylicus uh, proprius or a substantia gelatinosa, the spinal cord. Uh, this is going to give rise to your second order neurons, um, which are going to be your spinal thalamic projection neurons. Uh, they're going to project to the thalamus, the ventral posterior thalamic nucleus, and then to the cortex. Um, and so they're projecting to the upper two thirds, the post central gyrus. And so this is um, kind of a backup to the dorsal. So the anterior spinal thalamic tract is kind of a backup uh, to the dorsal lumniscal um, column. Uh, and so here it just talks a little bit about assessments. And so here um, I will stop and um, this will be the end of part two.